guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. It is time for my November wrap-up. I managed to read nine books in November, so that makes me very happy. I know I'm supposed to be, like, cutting down, but now that summer is over, I just don't feel the need for that. Anyway, let's get on with these books that I read. The first book that I read in November was for our Read Your E-Reader. And that was the Boylan House Trilogy. And this is by Ron Ripley. I was only going to read the first one, but they were very short. So I read all three of them. This is about a house um, that is kind of involved in the deaths of these boys. And it's just kind of like a paranormal mystery kind of thriller um, story. And I ended up rating at three and a half stars. It, it was paced very good, just not as exciting as I would have thought it would have been but definitely worth the read. The next one I read for the Read Your E-Reader was Lost and Found. This is by Nicole Williams. This is kind of like a contemporary, new adultish kind of story. Um, I rated it four stars and I really did enjoy it. Um, this is about a girl who gets promised from her mother that she'll be able to go to her uh, this, this well-renowned um, art school but she needs to straighten up so she's going to send her off to this ranch where it requires her getting up early in the morning and serving breakfast for the ranch hands and this and that. Um, the story kind of goes on from there. There is a love interest but it's not insta-love which was also very good. Uh, I just really liked the story itself and, and the message. She She had many issues you know, and she was working through those and, and stuff like that. So it was a very good story. Four stars. The next one I read for um, finishing up Read Your E-Reader was Underland. And this was a um, fantasy. This was an urban fantasy, which I don't read a lot of them. But this girl lost her, her parents and her twin. She's abducted. She's taken to Underland story goes on from there. It was a good story, very fast paced. Um, I rated it four stars. And that one was by Mary E. Twomey. The next book that I read was Dark Fragments by Rob Sinclair. This was a book that I received in exchange for an honest review. It was a thriller. It was, it was paced very well. A lot was going on. But it also had kind of those mobbish elements, like the mob and the mafia and that kind of stuff. And I'm just not sure that kind of thing is for me, but I do think the story was read-worthy. I ended up reading it four stars. The next book I read was Zombie with an X. It was for my A through Z challenge, and I don't know what I read with this story. Um, thankfully, it was a short story, but it was an X. And it was zombies who liked sex, pretty much. So, as a mental note to myself, don't go spur of the moment finding a book to read on Amazon that is free just because you get a letter X, because chances are it's going to be something that you would not normally read. So, yeah. Now on to the rest of my non-read your e-reader list. I read Faithless by Karen Slaughter. This is book number five in the Grant County series. There's one more to read, which I'll be reading this month. I really enjoyed this one. I've enjoyed the whole series. Maybe not as much as the Will Trent series, but it's still, you could just watch Karen Slaughter grow as an author. She's very talented, very gifted writer. And this one is probably my favorite so far. But I have one more to read in the series, so we'll see. The next one that I read was You by Caroline Kepnes. I needed a Y for my A through Z challenge. Ordered this through Book Outlet. I read it. Creepy. Um, if, if you guys saw the review, that the video review that I did, um, I was kind of on the fence about our bad guy. You know, the author leads you down this road thinking, oh, he's not so bad. And then when he can continually redeem himself, you just keep feeling that until you get through the story and you start to understand who he is and what's going on. But it was a um, very interesting read. Uh, when I read the first one of the synopsis, I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to be good. Um, it, was, it was really good, and I really enjoyed it. 
but um, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to get the sequel to it. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I think I heard someone say that there it was going to be a trilogy. I don't know for sure, but I would like to see where Joe goes in life. So I may end up, um, it's called Hidden Bodies for the second one. I ended up rating that four stars. The next one I read was Vanishing Girls by Lauren Oliver. I heard a lot of good about this story, but then there were there were those mixed reviews in there. But I needed a V from my A through Z challenge. I had the book, so I figured I would read it, and I it was just disappointing to me. Um, I think the twist that was in the book didn't really need to be in the book because I've read other books with the same kind of twist that pulled it off better, I think. This one was just, you just kind of like hit in the face with it. Like, it was like out of the blue kind of thing. And, I, and I'm thinking now that maybe I should have expected it just because of the way the story was written. Um, this is about a girl or two girls or sisters, there was an accident and she got, the one sister was scarred. And um, it's just the story of their life and then another little girl disappears and her sister's always living on the edge and always doing things for that shock value kind of thing. So she thought that she would disappear and this little other little girl disappears and there's a hunt for that and now the other sister thinks that this, they're, they're related. Those two things are related. And that was pretty much the story. And then to throw a twist in there that just really didn't need to be in there at all, I guess. I don't know. I, maybe it's just my work way of thinking. But I only rated it two stars. I just was kind of disappointed. I thought it would have been better than what it was. Um, so, yeah. And the last book that I read for the month of November was Kill the Messenger by Tammy Hogue. Uh, I thought again that I was going to have a book that I wasn't going to enjoy. And it was really disappointing because Tammy Hogue is, is a favorite of mine. I loved her Kovac and Lishka series. I'm sure you guys remember me talking about that series. Um, and this one kind of, the character, Kev Parker, kind of seemed like he was more along the lines of Lucas Davenport. And if you guys remember, I could not stand Lucas Davenport in that Prey series. Um... And I only read the first book and started reading the second one. I just couldn't do it because he's just, he was just a womanizer, egotistical. Well, Kev kind of starts out that way. But I think the author kind of tones it down as the story goes. And it ended up being a really good story. You have this, this boy, his name is JC, and he has a younger brother. He's like 18 or 19, and he's looking after his brother. Um, they also have a family in Chinatown who they stay with. And he gets this one last call to go, he's a bike messenger, to go pick up a message and deliver it. Well, the lawyer that he picks the message up from, from ends up dead. And JC is a prime suspect. And the story goes on from there. It was very fast paced, very, it moved really, really well. And I think that is probably what made me see past Kev Parker, who is the, the detective. Uh, until it got to a point where I could, he actually grew on me. So, yeah, it was a really good story. Very fast-paced. Loved it. Rated it four stars. And that is my uh, wrap-up for November. All of these books I have written reviews for on Goodreads and my blog. All that will be in the description box below. And you guys can go check out my written reviews if you would like to. But um, if you've read any of these books, let me know in the comments below, and we will talk about it. Thanks, guys, for staying tuned, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.